Hi guys. It was supposed to be outside. Stand up. Go out. No. Yes. I you said was. seated. No. You see what I said, Dara? She see that she said she introduce you. Now come back, sit down. Do not clap for you. Hey! Oh. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. okay. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then you're welcome and don't forget to subscribe. And if you're coming back, then thank you. So today I'm having just like um like a girl's talk and I should answer some questions. And not just me, but I have two special guests with me. Then by my right to my, my lips is Davina. Woo! Hey guys! Woo! <laughs> hey guys, I am Davina. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Davina. Yeah, I'll put the link down below. Yes. That's it. And by my right, or like whatever, is Alheri. Hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she, also, she also has a YouTube channel. Hey, I don't YouTube have a like, channel. Us. We have family we, YouTube channel. But we've not, like, we've not yet started posting videos on these or like posting stuff. So, as I said earlier, today we're just having like some questions. The first, yeah, the first is uh, what's your red flag in relationship? In the relationship? I hear you go first. Like, and I'm me, me personally, for me, my reflection relationship here, yeah, I do I can't see her in you, but I know I don't like a guy that is loud. That's like a red flag for me. Like for always always inviting me to your house for a date instead of like a proper restaurant or just go or even if it's just like a park or something, but it's always comes to come to my house and then you go, that's a red flag for me. And what else? If, if he talks too much and he's too loud, it's a red flag for me. That's it. For me, my red flag is a guy that is not caring and a guy that is not emotionally available. Like if you are not emotionally available, well, that's like a turn off for me. <laughs> you have a red flag. I have a red flag. Okay, number one. Nonchalant, nonchalant men. Yeah. I nonchalant men. That's a red flag. Number two. Women that is overly sexual. Yeah. That one. Let's say inviting you to your house and you're why inviting you to your house? I'm just saying. Oh, Jesus. And like, someone that just touch you, always touch you, that's a red flag. Eh? It's like that, that you, it's because you. No, like, if you're in a relationship, like, already, and like, you're touching. Wait, touch wait, what if that's your partner's love language? Like, mm -hmm. that's what touch. Yes. That's if already, like, we're in a relationship, that's what I expect you, but like, if, like, it's just like, we're just what cutting. What if you are in the process? No, that's why the question says. Red flag. Red flag in a relationship. That means you guys are ready to. Okay, maybe touch is okay, but like not too sexual. No. Even if like you know, some people sexually active, like sexually and is there active and all, but even as that's like I don't like when it's too much. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Like what's your red flag in friendship? No more friendship. People um friends that don't congratulate you when oh, yes. when you like when you achieve something and then they don't congratulate you. That is yeah, like, that's like basic red flag. Friends like, who don't support you. Like even if like you like, just why are you not happy? Why are you not happy? Like, like the little you want support me? matters. Like even if it's just tiny, I just like just that small support is like not necessarily like okay, buy what I'm selling or something. Not like that. Just support. Like when you, you need something, you high conversations, that kind of thing. Just support and all this stuff. Me, but me, I don't like friends that don't compliment me. Even though like at least if I'm looking good, at least tell me I'm tell looking me good. You, get, you look like, good. You get my point. Like yeah. just tell me I look good. And also friends that maybe now they are in another group or like in. Um, maybe now they are in a particular situation and maybe people are talking about me and I have a friend in that group that they are talking and everything and then you don't like you don't stand up for me when they are talking about me like nah, I feel that person is not your friend. And like I don't like if friendship here I don't for me a red flag is stinginess. I don't like stingy people. So you can't remember you can't remember my friend if you're stingy. Like for me it's a red flag. Why? Stinginess is a red flag for me in a friendship and then people talk always talking about, about other people. Like fine, we just like you just and all. But I have some friends that they talk about talk about about their own friends. Like, let me say, I'm her friend. I'm her yes. friend. But like, they're not really friends. They're they're not really close. But I'll talk about her to her. Then I'm not gonna miss her. I'm not smiling. Like, are you stupid? If you like, don't like, don't, don't tell like me anybody because we're telling me her business and definitely we're telling her my own business. Yeah. Also. So that's a red flag. No friendship for me. If someone is ready for a relationship, how long should they wait? Ah. <laughs> this one, I'll go. If someone is not ready for a relationship, I feel you should just wait whenever you're ready. No, like, no, no, okay, like, no. Like, let's say no, I want you want to be in a relationship with me and I'm not, not ready. ready. How long no, should you wait, wait for me? The person don't want. I'm going to leave Jack Bar and go and Personally, I don't, think, I don't think you should There are plenty of issues in this The first second, ah. the person say, um, I'm not ready to be in a relationship. 
relationship. Just go. Because I feel you can like... be friends with the person you get. Yeah, it doesn't have to be bad. I feel you, it wait, does not have to be any. I want to say something. I feel that people that always say that they're not ready to be in a relationship, they're just you looking for an excuse to just tell you that they don't want yes. to be with you. Yeah. So if they are telling you not to be in a relationship, come on, oh, run, like leave. Don't wait that long. Let me know like, if you really love the person. If you wait, because I'm just someone that waited for a year. Wait, yeah, I know for somebody that waited, waited for a year. For waited for five years, but <laughs> yeah. that's not the point. There's like, one thing, some people are not in a relationship, but like they give you the like, they love, they're in love with you, like it's there, but like they're yeah, just not ready. Another like, aspect. That one is different, like I love you, I like you, but like I'm not currently, I'm not ready, I'm going through some things. So maybe when I'm done with this thing, but like I like you and oh, that one is a different, but they don't give you any sign at all, they're not ready. Wrong. It's just, Go. it's all mm-hmm. about the actions and exactly. all about how the person said. At age 18, mm-hmm. what's the appropriate body count? Like it's five too much. See, but let me say this thing. Let me just say this. There's nothing like body count, please. Let me know. Uh, yeah, forget even anything. The thing is that for me, eh, if I see a 13 year old or a 15 year old tell me I have a body count of, I'm like, at what why? You, start? you like, are 13. Jigger, I'm not. I'm not disputing anything. But like, <laughs> you are 13. Fuck, are you having but 10, 18. 20 body counts? How many five body counts at 18? I don't know. It's okay, like. Even me, I said that it doesn't have body I count. Like, I, mean, it's kind, I feel it's not. Me personally, I don't feel like there's anything like a proper body counts. Like, it's nobody like, what's a proper body counts? Like, to each their own. Whenever you talk like this, to each their own. So I don't think we should have. It's left us to determine the proper body counts. But as far as the person wanted it, I think. The most turn off in a guy. When he has long days, I don't like it. Why me of long? Mm-hmm. I don't really like long days, but I'm calling it a turn off. I don't really like it. No. Okay, um, I don't like bad boys. Like it doesn't work for me. Like I'm not a fan of bad boys. Like honestly, like I don't. Even, they, they don't want to attract boy. me. Like all these bad boys. Like me, I like good boys. Like I actually like good boys. I want to move, but I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying talking your shit, good boy kind of type. Or no, not, not that type. Like, talking your shit, bad type. <laughs> not that type. But like bad boys is a turn off for me. Like I don't fancy bad boys at all, and I don't fancy people who like put that shit over sabi. <laughs> turn off for me, like, wasn't that too so much? And, and physical, like, physical, was a turn off for me. I don't know, shout out this like you're having long, long news, news. you're dirty, don't be dirty, don't be a dirty boy. But I mean, bad boy, bad boy, personally, turn off for me, like, that's just turn off for me. I don't know if it's only because I saw this on six of one, and I'm like, yes, actually, mm-hmm. there's something like, let's say I'm with a dude, yeah, and he's like the messenger of his group. Oh, <laughs> I don't think I care about that thing. Ah! I've never experienced it before. Oh, like, why? If your boyfriend is messing up, they go. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, the, you, you're the guy among the guy groups that they tend to go and talk to you, or maybe, like, go and collect her number, that kind of thing. Like, why? No. Ah! No. <laughs> and also, boys that cannot come and meet a girl first, maybe they'll be sent to go and talk to a girl. First. Why can't you come and meet the girl yourself? Be a man. It's true. Be brave. Come and That's meet me. Right. And then. Maybe I'm ever end up giving me and yeah, you don't know. One thing that's actually turned off for me is um, how you message me first, like first expression matches. Like, maybe like on Instagram, my DM me. Hi, hello, why? I just come, holy hell, cutie. Hi. <laughs> don't don't listen to them, my DM. Holy like, hell, cutie. Excuse me every day. My boy like, for me into your DM. Like, first expression matches, like, that's yeah, a, a turn off for me. Like, the way you talk to me, that's not for me, like, at first. Come respectfully, like, don't just come as far as you come. I know it's nah, Snapchat. Like Snapchat it. is an app for hoes. Do you get, but. I don't know why you text me after hi hello how are you I'm fine the next thing is are you drinking which needs like do you still see like how you talk to me like are you time? mad like I don't get it. I don't understand understand <laughs> there's always say like what's your most turn on like I said me I like smart people it's a turn on for me no be that when I miss smart you know that how I like explain the smartness <laughs> actually I like smart people it's a turn on for me like if you're smart like I don't know but just like the way you think. Just like, like the way you think. Yeah. Like if you open minded, like I'm attracted to you. Like I'm attracted to like smart people. Not not was to be smart. Once again, <laughs> don't want smart people. And I like people that I like cool and reserved guys. Like like I said, I don't like bad boys. So I like calm, like me calm, too. reserved boys. Like I like reserved guys a lot. Like the turn on for me. Like if you're actually reserved, maybe with your guys you talk when you talk as if that's okay. Like maybe even with me, like with your relationship, like you talk as if that's okay. But like maybe yeah, you are not public, public yeah. like you're reserved and calm. I love it. It's like me. And there's one, but I have one, I have two, two red right turn-ons. I like guys, I like tea. If you like tea, I like you. <laughs> because you like, I like tea, guys, I like tea. Because she likes tea, that's why. If you have watched Loki, she's Loki, you like yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't understand. 
Like you like the red color yourself in someone else. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I like a like see and I like guys that like to run with her. You like color. yourself. Just say you like, like yourself. Her, like to see. She likes herself in me. I can't even my view. Incense. Incense. Surround her and see if you like them and like your camera reserved and you're smart. Take me away. Me too. I like calm guys. Like guys that don't talk so much. Why? Don't don't be don't be talkative. It's you everywhere. Like everywhere. Chu 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 chu. Like why? I like guys that talk too much. That's my turn on Shami. Wait, first, um, before before let me ask you. Physically, yeah? Mm-hmm. Physically. No with your brain. What you put on up? Physically, I like the dark guys. It's funny because my my ex-boyfriend was fair. <laughs> and the two guys are almost dead once and they're also fair. And I don't know how that happened. Even if you're not know that tall. So far you're dark and like your average height. And like you're taller than me. That's okay. That's a turn on for me. So you know the funny thing about me, I don't know, I don't think I have a type, but all I know is that I'm just be fine and then <laughs> just have a nice set of teeth. Ooh. I love guys that have a nice set of teeth, like, oh my god, take me away with you. I forgot to say one thing, I love guys that sing nice. You, I can, I can literally like sniffing you, like I'll be following you, like, cause you sing yes. nice, I'll be sniffing you. I, I like sing nice guys, <laughs> even, actually even my ex-boyfriend, I used to sniff him because I like to sing. So I, I like guys, I like, that's a turn on for me, like, if he sings nice. Uh, yeah, and just be cool. Like veins, like if I see vein on you. Uh, <laughs> I never say vein. Vein. I know vein. Everybody have veins. Now, I mean like, it's it's showing a veiny handed person. That's wow. Wow. Um, Thor. It's a necessity. Like, it's, no hate to short people, no hate to short men. People are fine, too. So I do I want to look up to you. Do you get? Let me look to you. Me, I'm working with short guys. Feel like you're taller than me. Yeah, short. I'm, short. I'm, 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 I'm not saying dwarf. Short. 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 So even though you are like five ten, you may not you be so bad than me. Because, That's the thing. Because I'm very yeah. short. So I said, much like you. So first, first, sit nice and like I like you. Like that attraction is there. I'm, okay, I'm good. Too. What's your opinion on long distance relationship? I'm going to tell you that one because I need dwarf. <laughs> Let me do that. So this I'll tell you. you. This is the queen. From experience. <laughs> experience. See, okay. Personally, but I'm, I've always been a fan of long distance relationship. But I like it. Friend, what you don't don't verse. I like long long distance relationship. Best. I love it. Cause for me, it's like you know, I don't like someone. Someone is in my face too much. So I just like it because our distance, like we're still and all, like we're still abstain from so many things. So I like it. And again, I was in it because my ex boyfriend was here before. We were together in Morocco before he left, and it was like long distance for like two years. Is it two years? Like one year or something. Yeah, and then. Wow. Initially it was hard because like when you used to each other It's a lot of trouble man, you go <laughs> like, Before they left, they were, they were like this Like we're always together like 247, not 247 but like 247 two So like we're very close and then he left, it was like our country so like it was not like LDR So initially at the beginning it was great smoothly, you know like that connection was still there Talking, calling, uh uh-uh, how like your days and everything But only after like a few months, like you know how many months, you stay like for me, it was like it's okay if you can do it, because I can do it. Trust, uh, and loyalty. It takes a lot it takes of trust. trust. And, yeah. But like if it's actually like willing to do it, actually so work out. As I mean, like my partner was actually like willing. It's me have worked out because. So you're saying he was not willing. Really. I don't know. <laughs> but like um, loyalty is very important. That's it. Me, I feel like it doesn't most of the time it doesn't work out for people that work out for like exactly. They will tell you, I'm sure they will tell you, it's not going to be easy. I've seen it work out for people, like, if you guys are actually, like, ready. It has to work out for especially, like, trust someone is very that important. you really, really love, and especially with someone that you really like, that you really want to see the person, like, want you to see the person, and then you can't, like, ah. Oh. Like, trust is so important in it, like, trust and everything. Like, what's your honest opinion on your boyfriend having a best friend girl? Hmm. Me, I'm I'm jealous, best friend, so best friend, you don't like, have any. I'm your best friend because exactly. when it comes to think of it, what's the role of a best friend like to be there for you? So that's I'm having issues with you, not gonna tell you the best friend from there. Exactly. From there, people gonna start do kissing. From, I beg, I beg, no. Like, I'm your best friend, talk to me, please. Me, so like, I don't believe in this. Like, if yeah, I, 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 believe, I believe for a new relationship, like, we should be your best friend. Like, I'm your best friend, you're my best friend. It's okay, like, there's something like maybe before I came, the person was already there. That's exactly what I wanted to That's ask. a different thing, like, she was already there before I came, so okay, I get and I'm going to respect it. But there's boundaries. Yeah, there have to be, like. Nobody is supposed to tell me, because telling me, I'm going to tell my best friend, my best friend, like, ah, oh, no, no. Are you reporting me? Like, this month, my best friend down now. No, I don't want that. Or we post or we posting him and posting caption, best friend. It's, that's, that's. <laughs> Yes, I don't yeah. like that. <coughs> Me personally, I'm jealous. I'm a very jealous person. So, yeah. I'll be doing. <laughs> <laughs> your 
Okay, so his friend is benefits a good idea. I've never been in that, so I can't really answer for people. But what I, what I can say is, it's okay, but just don't catch feelings. That's why there's a problem. Why they smile? <laughs> like, it's okay, but like, just don't catch feelings. Like, it's so bad when someone else catches feelings and then, like, what's going to happen? Maybe the other person doesn't feel the same way. It's just benefits for them. And then you, you now come and I feel that's too. why there's the need for the benefits. Just keep like, it Like, try not to catch feelings. If I catch feelings, let it die down. Like, find something to do. Or just leave, just leave the friends with benefits. I'm going to find someone else. Because that person may not you be can't find a real man. And to break your heart. <laughs> So no, it's friends with benefits. Now everybody could chop breakfast. And it's bad to breakfast with friends with benefits. It's a little breakfast in relationship. It's not friends with benefits that you can break fast for. Ah. That's bad. What to do if a guy is giving you mixed feelings? You don't know. Me now. personally, like I answer for myself personally. I'm I don't do mixed feelings, like I'm going to exist. Like, ASAP. What do you want? Just state what you want. Like let's be sure. Nee, I, I, don't, I don't think I don't even really think guys see if a guy wants you, he will show it. Like I don't guys only give mixed feelings. Like, if a guy is doing mixed feelings, yeah, I know girls, you. girls actually do that one in the like if a guy is doing mixed feelings, doesn't want you because guys actually like guys can be straightforward. Like if they want you, they want you and they'll, they'll let you show. Like, I've given you A B, he doesn't actually like me exit though, because it's either end up living with a heartbreak. So just be going. Run fast, Run, like fast. fast yourself yeah. after like a mental breakdown. For me, I go back. To, I go back to what I like doing. Maybe I'll go back to poetry. Like I'll go back to reading books or poetry or something. And I express myself. Like I just be in my room, listen to music, and I was like get back myself. Sometimes when it's very very bad, I talk to my therapist or I talk to my sisters. Like, Wait, you how to, to get to vibe? No, like like maybe if not not into like maybe anything. Mental. Just mental. Like how do you get back to yourself? Me, I hardly like I hardly cry like. I only cry, but when he reached me, like when I cried, that's when you showed that yes, oh my, that one really got to me. I I'll cry. just cry, Sha, and just sleep. Yeah, Miss Amari, just cry. And just talk to my really close friends and I know what the situation, situation is at that part, at that point, particular point. Yeah, if it's too bad, I talk to my therapist. Then. I used to cry like in my mom. It's okay. a normal thing. I mean, if I lost on the road, so I can't cry. I mean, can cry. <laughs> cry, my cry. <laughs> I do not know how to gather crime. I have like a mental breakdown or something. Most times, I used to redo my room. Like if you ever catch me redoing, my, if anybody ever sees me redoing my room, I literally just had a mental breakdown. I'll stand up, I'll change the position of my bed. Sanit, do sanitation. Like it's scattered person, Loki. But once I'm upset or once I'm done being upset, I'll just, oh, I don't even want to be upset. I don't think about what, what happened. I'll just on music. Put it, oh, go look. And change the direction of my whole entire room. Yeah, so if you feel like you're sleeping, just go back to what you love doing and do it or talk to people that trust you, people that yeah. understand you. Biggest insecurity. Uh before my biggest insecurity, I don't I just I don't have to anymore, was my boobs. Like but I was super like I was super in my class, I was the brothers in my class and I was in I I started my best when I was in jail, so I was talking about them and I was super like upset with everybody. I was like, I was, okay, I love my body, but at the same time. I like it because I was actually covering it. I used to wear cardigan to cover my okay, breasts. Sure. And people started calling me cardigan girl like as per fashion. But that was not it. Actually, I was actually trying to cover my breasts because we're opening up for engineer school now. That was, that was that's been my biggest insecurity. But like now, I like them. <laughs> what, what was that biggest insecurity right now? Nothing. Me, my own folds, like my legs. Like my, I know like my legs were like thin. My legs are like thinner than my body because like I'm thick and all go. I know like how my legs spray and sometimes also my whole body like sometimes I'll just be looking at myself I'll be like because like recently I lost weight and even after the, I wanted to lose weight too after losing it sometimes I'll just be looking at myself I'm like what the fuck is wrong like I don't know I'm not I'm not just contented with how my body is sometimes yeah. But then it's a process for getting to me. I don't have any insecurities. I have levels of insecurities in my life. When I was growing up, first was my skin color. If you see me now, I'm like very fair as you see me now. Because if you, if you knew me from the onset of life, you would know I was black. Like peach black. Like compared I was to them, you're fair. You're fair now. Compared to them. Compared to them, I'm practically albino. Because like, do you know how fucking black I was when I was young? Like I was black and then like I will not say I was not bullied yeah but like because it's like you say it's boarding school now everybody used to make fun of everybody. Mm -hmm. But then to me it got to some point that I, I just kind of like it was like can you pull stop? And then I had seen that I was a very minor skit. I have skin problems. 
So like, my beloved, be like, oh, what is this? That's it. Ah! And like, people ah! don't even know when to stop. Like, ah! just keep quiet. That is to, like, just keep quiet. In my head, like, I don't get, like, can you just leave the rushes? What is this on like, your body? Like, like, that's what, what are you doing to treat it? I know it's there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have an insecurity. Like, try and love your insecurities. Like, once you like your insecurities, that's the end of it. You're not kidding me. I love my boobs now. Like, I could literally, you know, I'm boss. Like, I'm like, me, I'm boss. I like my boss. Like, just try to embrace your insecurities and that's it's like just try and embrace because if you listen to people you just keep sleeping and sleeping and sleeping and you lose yourself and just it like, um how to stop craving male attention I me mean, i know they crave male attention they, <laughs> nobody, i'm not gonna say nobody's male attention but like how to stop <laughs> there are some, actually there are some girls eh, they see a boy i see their body how about this but but shall shall come, me, shall come, shall come, relax what's that all, all girls it's so like, like, so it's so <laughs> Like for me, just like just try love yourself. I feel like you love yourself for like a confidence in yourself. Especially like who that went to all girls school. Because both of us went to all girls school. So like we see first hand. Like when you see when you see when you see like some of your mates that maybe they go out and see a boy, their body doing chicka chicka. That's not understanding because like they don't really see all this. That one is understanding. But even that like we went to girls school to understand because they are not seeing. You need to stop trying like oh that we see them on the normal basis. It's disgusting. So if you're doing it like stop trying stop doing it. I cannot stop. Love yourself first. Be confident in yourself, and then I think I think it's going to reduce. Your validation is like. Uh, what's your thoughts on posting your guy online? Me, I'm okay with that. If me, me, post my, yeah, me, I don't post my man. I, like, feel, I'm not sure I, I, I feel that now this post, no person of your guy will ever on social media is like a trend now. Like everybody's just doing it. I don't know. Me personally, I don't know what I would do. So then, <laughs> yeah, okay, like me, anybody that knows me from the relationship, everybody's to know. Like, I, because. Um, anytime, anytime I like someone, I usually post them friendship, family. Like I'm a loud person when it comes to like love and shit, whatever. Like, I'm loud. Only wrist watch and you know, no, who they do that? Like, <laughs> if I get my, if I have a boyfriend, everybody will see. Like I'm a, I'm a loud person in showing my love. Like friends or family, I do post them. Not like in showing up, but like in posting people. Like I always mm. post people. As she does to show love. Then um, <laughs> well, how do you get about your ex? You get survive it. You not, get like, survive it. It takes time. Like, see me. I believe in like. Time? It takes time actually to get the right ex. Like, it depends on the best, you know. Just if, like, know if really that love you really love the person, it takes time. For yourself and like, I'm, I'm okay with it. Okay, even if you break up with somebody, like, I still, I still be in love with them. It's okay. Like, it's fine to still be in love with a person like that. Yeah. Don't even okay. try. Okay. See, but pure advice. Don't try. It's don't try to. Don't try to fall out of love with the person because you'll just be going more deep into the Like, it's hard. Allow it. Allow it. Allow to feel it. Like, feel it. Like. Get over it, like, may I take a like, long time? Some people, one year, it's okay, it's completely fine. Like, fly me love with your ex again, it's still okay. Like, I don't you go back to your ex, too. but like, it's okay, like, it's really love, like, so you guys are okay. to your ex boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, like, um, how do you show affection? Like, me, I'm, I'm a physical person. I'm not an affectionate actor. Am I, I'm not affectionate. I'm a very physical person. I, I don't know if I'm, a, I'm not affectionate, I think. Yes, you are not. It's obvious. Every single person that knows you knows that. I'm not affectionate. I'm not really like the but wait, love though. and the moon person. Wait, wait, oh. wait, at all. Hmm? In your relationship, you are not affectionate. Yes. Oh, was I? I used to be. Was I? I used to be, I used to be, I used to be half of the. Half of the conventions. No, okay. For answer, what's about like when I like someone, I like being with them. Like, I like, I really like being with them. I don't like when they leave. Like, if I'm with them, I don't like when they go. I don't like leaving. But like that touchy touchy, I'm not a touchy person. But like, I could compromise if like you are a touchy person. I could compromise. Okay, fine. Like, I have to compromise. But me personally, like, I know they too. I don't love me. I swear, I'm not a touchy person. Why are you hold? But I can compromise. Don't like, hold if, me. Like, no, you don't love me. You just get. Like, but I don't love me, everybody. I just, I just don't like when someone touches me. Like, there's never one relationship me, like anybody. I, I don't me, like it. But I'm very bad at showing affection. Like, mm. ah, no, it's very, very like, ah, no. That means it's not as if she's mean about it. She's just in It's just that, person. yes. And I don't even know how if to touch do it. Even though laughing. I want to try, even though I try to do, like, to be more emotional, I don't know how to do it. Like, I just feel I need someone to. Like guide me through. Me, I'm not an emotional like person. The, the right I, I, person that will guide me through. I, 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 I'm, I'm not an emotional person, but like when it comes to my, I've noticed that when it comes to my siblings, I'm emotional. These are my friends. I've noticed that. I'm like very emotional. I'm emotional like one of my siblings and my friends. What's why did I? <laughs> <laughs> I tell my siblings. I live like, with this guy. This house. So we used to collect it. Face but hard. like, if one comes like outside, like other people, not like outside, but like other people, like I'm not that affectionate. Like I'm not emotional at all. Like at all. I don't give. At all. I really doesn't care about outside. Like, I don't really care, just my siblings and my friends. That's all. But any other person, like, I'm not sure. Like, I don't even care. Like, flight, I don't even care. Like, I don't really care. Like, I just don't care. Me, like, so I'm not sure if I'm in a relationship with you,
Hmm. And you are there. I practically want to live inside your skin. This one. Hmm. I want to this live. one. I miss your farm. Don't touch. Don't touch. I want to live inside touch. your what? skin. I show you every single second. Hey, why? Why are you? Do you hate me? Why My family doesn't if I can compromise to be affectionate. Why you definitely I'm not going to compromise. You don't like me. But you just feel something else. Make a compromise with family relationship. Like yeah, I can touch. No problem. But no, you don't. You know when not to like. What do you look for in a guy? Me, nothing. If I like you, I like you. Like, exactly. Actually, nothing. If I like you, I like you. I literally like. don't care who you are. You no know, concern. If I like someone, like, if I like someone, like, once I see you, like, I know I like you. So I don't really look for anything. No, I mean. This one, what do you look for? This one, I look for somebody that will tie her. Idiot. See, I'll like, tie her money, money, money. I'm just joking. But, like, if I like you, I like you. Let's so ask one one. Okay. One one something. Yeah, 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 ask. Question that ask. <laughs> ask anyone. Yeah, you are. What's your love language? Was me? Acts of service. That's my number one. Acts of service. Cause I'm not a person that I do things for people. Like I'll do things for you. I wish I wish you to do the same for me. I actually do things for people. Like I could literally have, maybe them. I just, this is, is that. I you don't know, like outsiders. In this in this video is when I'm just realizing this girl does not love me anymore. In this, I she not even love me again. Someone does something for me. Like tell my partner like. Cause that's my love language. Like when I'm doing something for me, like, I thought about it. So I'm not going to submit this you. thing. Or okay, I'm, I have to get this thing. Like that's my love language. Like I love it. Like, just, do, just do things for me. Like just do things for me. Then my last is physical touch. Yeah, Maybe yeah. I have five. My last is physical touch. Mm, it's physical touch. No, my own is. Um, what yeah, are the main love languages? Words yes. of aff affirmation and yeah. quality time. Yes. Yeah, quality time. Like me, but there's something with me, but I don't really care if we go out or not. You guys, as far as I'm with you, I honestly do not care whatever the fuck I'm. You are even you, you can stay inside now. And I don't even like going out. So that's when the beginning of the issues. So like, as far as I'm like with you, I honestly don't care. Like, okay, what's one thing most people don't know about you? Oh, more. Me, I'm an open book. I know they do mysterious. No, no, I feel like many people don't know that she's actually like socially shy. So usually, because mm. the way I am, like yes. when I'm when I'm out, I talk to people and everything, but she doesn't do the same. So people expect us, like, because she's close to me, so that okay, they think maybe she's also going to, going to be the same, the same way I am, because everyone also like bubbly and everything. So I expect Ali to be the same, but she's actually like very, very shy person. Like socially, she's socially, is it awkward? Yes. She has, she has social anxiety actually, and people don't know that, so they, they think. I, I, yeah, I, I think, think sometimes she can be misunderstood. Like yeah, sometimes. she's usually yeah. misunderstood because me and me and Devina like we're well, probably outside like we talk to everybody, but she doesn't do the same. So they think she's like. And at the same time, they think sense. maybe like she's quiet all the time, but but she what's the internet? She's very very crazy. Like, like if you are my friend, yeah, you know that I'm literally like a mad person. Like I make noise. Like like I used to make a lot of noise. Like I'm very noisy, but like if I'm going outside, most of the like Pfizer knows everybody. So like going out Pfizer is like nightmare sometimes. That's why I, I even bought. That's one of the reasons why I bought headphones. So immediately she's talking to somebody, I'm just bending my head inside my phone. I don't. Like talking to people. Okay, are you a forgiving like, person? <laughs> I'm a forgiving person, but I don't used to forget. I never forget. I will and never. Anybody who knows me knows that me. I should, I always revenge. God forgive me. For never. Forgiving person. And this one. I will forgive you. Oh, Demi is very nice. Demi, I think she's like she's too nice. And one day we'll put in trouble. <laughs> See Davina and Amira. Those are the two nice people that. that is, I, I feel like right. one day they're gonna trouble for their nice mess. So, that one has already entered trouble. She's entered. <laughs> Even as she was still in that trouble, she, she, she was still nice. What's the most love you've ever felt by family and your partner? Me, me, I feel, I, me okay, with partner, family. with partner, my, my ex, to be honest, eh, like, I, I felt like very, very loved, like when I mean, yeah. like, yeah, oh, yes, I, yes, felt, I felt extremely loved, like when I mean very loved, like, Little little things like I could just be married and like someone just come, you see maybe a shoe, a clothes or something or food like, uh, yeah. so that she brings it to you. And it was one thing like he did for me that I really like. I think I'll never forget this. I think it was during Ramadan when when lockdown and like when the hostel like we could not go, we could not really get things. And the first day this Ramadan, I was married and just someone just got potatoes and fruits for my and like, so that she bring it for me. For, see, me I first loved my ex very well. Like I, for my family. Uh, my family, I, uh, so I used to feel like, my sisters, like, so I always feel like, my sisters, like, they're really supportive. And my brothers, too, like, and my dad, I always feel like, anytime I'm good, like, I'm mentally down, he always knows. And then you see, immediately he start calling me or calling myself, and asking, like, what's wrong? Am I depressed? Like, what's the problem? Do I need to speak to someone? Like, my dad, I feel extremely loved. Like, my family, like, I feel Me with my mom, I feel extremely loved. Because, like, before I came to Morocco, like, me and my mom are not, like, the closest and everything. But then when we came here, we are just, like, best friends. Like, every single, anything happened in my life. 
apart from school. But I used to have in my life like this. I used to tell my mom, like, I always talk to her and everything. Like, I feel ashamed of my mom. And she always understands. Like, Same. no matter what I do, like, ah, my sister, my sister loves me. And my sister's life, basically. But I see. Ah! Maybe, okay, I think we need to round up so it's not too long. So, this is the last question. Mm -hmm. Is there a time when I made you feel, or child, the same goes, made you feel like particularly well supported? Well like, supported. Is there a time when well, I made you feel particularly well supported? Like, um, me, but Faisal is a very supportive person. Like, yeah. I know that one about her. I beg. Wait, I beg. I beg. Wait, Calm down. Calm down. Even like Faisal is a very supportive person. Like, me and Faisal have a once in the, once in our time we were falling out but then even after the fallout and everything that we came back together like she now make me feel like oh we had a problem and everything yeah. she was still very very nice she's a very supportive oh. person that one i'm very sure so all the time even like my youtube channel everything even same goes at here too like they are very very supportive so me all the time she make me feel very supportive means she like for me to both actually like very very supportive like everything like when i was doing my business so they're not always naturally always post that and like the way she's even coming it's like ah like this, this don't you grow like she was very supportive of my business. I think with Ali, with Ali, she's very very supportive. Like, my YouTube channel, my pictures on Instagram, like now them like I always send this. Every time I have a picture, I always send this photo with them like, is it okay? Like, is there a problem? If, I, if I'm doing a video for my room, ah, is it okay? I think I've suffered. I think I've suffered this rubbish the most. Yeah. You see, Faiza, we snapped a picture. Like, she look at me like two, three times, like in ten minutes, to ask me this set of pictures is okay. She now text her sister. She text her other sister. Send it to her family group chat. Send it to every single person. Ask like I'm only okay. like that. She text Davina. Text, text, text. I'm like, just post the picture already. Nice, it's good. But, it's I feel okay. like, but, but I feel like the person is like three of us. Like, and I was like, okay, me and Davina have that before. Like, there's this distance. Like, like when my family that close, like she don't touch my and everything. We like we support each other like that's what is so there like that's I mean like cause yeah. like we, we have different group of friends exactly like, I have like Our another group of set friends. of friends and everything but like there's still this bad yeah that's like one thing us, like, actually there's they just something that thing is just there like with me all my friends have group of friends apart from these idiots why I don't have friends but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ew, ew, ew. <laughs> yeah. but all my friends have group of friends and then but see, as even as they have have their group of friends we are still like. Yeah. But she will like close me. So that's it. I don't want this video, but it's been so long. So yes. I thank you guys. See you guys next time. And don't forget to subscribe next time. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And and find us. And follow us on Instagram. I'm yes, on yes. Instagram link below. And please follow me. Like, don't follow me. Support. <laughs> Support. So see you guys next time. Thank you. And don't forget to put your what's that thing that they put? Subscribe. No, let me subscribe. Notification. Oh, oh turn uh, on your notification. So next time you see the video. Bye. Bye. See you Bye. Next time.